All right, good morning. I want to just come on this morning very briefly to tell you to keep going. Keep going. Because guess what? Hate does not need a lifeline. Okay? People that's going against you, people that's saying things against you that they know is not true, don't worry about that. Stay silent. Don't put your oxygen and energy into that. I had one of my viewers to share with me about the way that people make her feel. Some people make her feel. Feeling less than. Feeling like, you know, she's not worthy. Making her doubt herself. My response was this. You never give hate a lifeline. You don't have to do that. It's no need for it. You're bigger than that. You're bigger than every word that is being spoken against you. You are somebody. Always remember, you are somebody. Hate does not need a lifeline. The best way that I have found, I'm not saying everybody does this, to deal with hate towards you is to go silent. Just go silent. Don't respond to the things that people make up about you. You have nothing to do with how somebody feels about you. And we need to start being more open about this. We really do because people are reaching out in silence. That's why people, when they, uh, uh, TikTok is so popular because people speak out things from their heart in, uh, in order to help somebody else. And that's what life is about. You give somebody else a lifeline once you make it. Once you make it, help somebody else. Don't just make life just about yourself. Help somebody else. And then when you see somebody down, give them some words of encouragement, some words of inspiration. You don't know who might see your material. You don't know who might be tuning in to your platform. You don't know who might be at that job that you go on every day that need an encouraging word, that needs a word of inspiration. You don't know that because a lot of times we hide our silence, our pain in silence. You know, we become so reserved and people wondering, well, what's wrong? And oftentimes we'll say, I'm OK, when we know that we're not OK. Because I'm going to tell you this in life and y'all know it in life. Sooner or later, something going to get next to you. Some words are going to get next to you from other people. Some actions from others are going to get next to you. In life, that's just the way that it is. Things in life going to get next to you sooner or later. But hate, don't you give that hate a lifeline. Because for one thing, it doesn't deserve a life that, lifeline. Don't give it no oxygen. That's basically what I'm saying. Do not give it any oxygen in your life. When people say things, just look, just let them say them. If they want to spread lies, you can't stop them. Some people really enjoy hurting other people. They really rise up in the mornings to hurt other people. They go about their day hurting other people. Don't you know you can do all the good for some people and you do one thing that they don't like. And they start destroying you. You can help them all they like for 15 years, say, just for example. And you do one thing that they don't like. And them same people turn around and tear you down. Same people. See, that's hatred that was hidden. Sometimes you have secret closet enemies in your life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That closet enemy is what you got to be careful about because guess what? That's your, that's your friend in the daytime and your enemy at night. So they really not your friend. They really your frenemy because they tell good when they're right there in the front of you, but they're destroying you behind your back. And that's why I always say, keep your circle small. Got, sometimes you have too many people in your life. Too 
many people in your life is not good. Because you can't please and appease all them people. I'm just saying this morning. Stand strong on what you believe. Stand strong in who you are. Stand strong and stand firm on the goals and the journey that you own. Because guess what? At the end of the day, you are stuck with nobody but you. You are stuck with nobody but you. So when people flip the script on you, you know what you do? You say, "Uh uh-uh. I'm not going to let that take me down. Because you have that expectation that any time, at any time, they can flip that script on you. People are known to do that. Even scripture tells us, even scripture tells us, say, if you accomplish one friend in this life, you have done much. You have done much. Because people come in your life, everybody that come in your life have an agenda. Some good, some bad. But everybody that comes in your life has an agenda. And what you need to always remember that there is nobody better than you but you. Got that? There is nobody that can come into your life that is better than you but you. Because you learn to make yourself a priority. You got to make yourself a priority. Stop putting everything and everybody in front of you. You somebody. Okay, well, nobody say you are somebody. God didn't create junk. You his prime creation. And he wants just as much for you as he wants for everybody else. Peace, love, joy in your life. Kindness, relaxation in your life, over your life. A sound mind in and over your life. Stop allowing the hateful things that people do and say to you, about you, whether it's in your face or behind your back. Don't you give that thing a life a lifeline. Don't you give that thing no oxygen. Because if you give, if you give hatred oxygen, that thing will live forever. You kill it with silence. People might not believe this, but the most fights you're going to win in life is silence. It's through silence. People already know when they're not doing right by you. People already know when they're trying to destroy you. People already know what their agenda is for you according to their standards. Don't get yourself caught up in that. Keep moving. Keep being who you are. Keep being proud of yourself. Be proud of you. Make you priority. And remember who you are. You are not who they say you are. Say that to yourself. I am not who they say I am. Because ain't nobody better than me. But me. Because if you don't think that about yourself, if you don't believe that about yourself, you cannot expect for other people to believe that about you. Make you priority. And it'll help you to continue to live. To feed into yourself. Don't give hatred no oxygen. Don't give it a lifeline. Don't do that. Let the haters say what they going to say. Because it's not a thing you can do about how somebody else feels about you. Okay? Y'all rise up this morning and just be great. 
Rise up and be great. Don't get up trying to fight enemies. Uh uh. Silence is the key. That's the key. That's how you fight them. That's a fact. All right. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful day. God loves you. And so do I. All right. Bye bye.